Hello guys, welcome to the third session of chemical kinetics. In this session, we will be talking about integrated rate equation. So what I want you all do is uh, pause the video and uh, get your pen and paper because you will be requiring it. Okay. So now what we will do, we will start with this session that is integrated rate equation. Now, first things first, that is for zero order reaction. Okay. So let's assume that the uh, reaction that we have is R gives you P product. Okay. So here, since it's a zero order reaction, the rate of reaction is proportional to zeroth power of concentration of reactant. That means rate is given by minus dr by dt is equals to a times r raised to power zero. Okay. So r raised to power zero is actually one. And you can shift this dt on this side, this minus sign also on this side, you get this expression. That is dr is equals to minus k dt. Now this is a differential equation which, where the variables are separated. So simply you can integrate. So put the symbol of integration here from R naught initial concentration to R as final concentration. Integrate here from time t equals to zero to any time t. Okay. So again repeating the lower limit of time t is zero. Higher limit is any time t. Lower limit of uh, integration of dr is actually r naught and the upper limit is r okay so if you put those values you get this expression i want you all try it out so you get this expression from here you can write k value is equals to this that is r naught minus r upon t okay remember that this is r raised to power 0 and this is r naught r naught is your initial concentration at time t is equals to 0 and R is your concentration of reactant at any time T. Okay. So this is the value of like how you can derive the value of K. Okay. Now if you want to represent this in graph that is R is equals to minus KT plus R naught. So you see that if you represent on Y axis as concentration of R. So this becomes your Y is equals to let's say that on X axis you are representing time. So T is your x so y is equals to m x plus c okay so it is going to be a straight line where the slope is minus k and r naught is your y intercept okay so some example of zero order reactions are given below here that is 2 nh3 gives you n2 plus 3 h2 so this is a zero order reaction same way thermal decomposition of hi on gold surface is another example of zero order reaction okay this graph is highly important exam question okay also this expression the derivation is exam question now let's talk about first order reaction so first order reaction means the rate of reaction is proportional to one power of concentration of reactants for example let's consider that r gives you p product okay r is the reactant so rate is equals to minus dr by dt should be equals to k r raised to power 1. So r raised to power 1 is r only. <clears throat> Again, let's separate the variables. Let's take r here in the denominator. This dt let's shift here. Minus sign also shift here. What you get is this expression. Okay. So dr by r is equals to minus k dt. Now this is a differential equation. Variables are already separated. So what you do, you integrate it okay, from r naught to r and integrate it here also because integrating both sides so integration lower limit is 0 to time t okay if you do that integration of uh, 1 by r dr is going to be ln r okay then put upper limit minus lower limit you are going to get this expression here okay so this is the final expression that you get so this derivation is an exam question and if you want, you can get the value of k also. k value is this. You can double check. Next, if you want to express this, okay, like ln r is equals to this minus kt plus ln r naught. So again, this is if you express this in y axis is equals to m x plus c. So here ln r naught is your y intercept. Slope is minus k. So this is this reaction. So remember that this part here is log graph okay log versus 
time so this graph paper should be a semi log graph paper semi log graph paper means one axis is logarithmic axis and the other one is normal axis okay like for example if you want to express this also okay let us k is equals to 1 by t ln of r not by r okay so let's say y axis is this so this is your y and this is your x okay so y is equals to some k times t okay so y is equals to mx so if you see the slope is going to be k upon 2.303 now understand this why this 2.303 is coming here and here it is not coming the reason is this here ln is actually log to the base e this is natural logarithm okay and this log that is used here is actually log to the base 10 okay so there is a difference in order to convert that's why this factor comes in okay so please note down ln is log to the base e natural logarithm and log to the base 10 is log okay so this is log to the base 10 graph Next is half life of the reaction. So, calculation of half life of reaction. So, basically, what is half life of reaction? First of all, so half life is the time in which the concentration of reactant is reduced to one half of its original concentration. Usually, it is represented by T half. For example, if I give you 50 grams of reactant, okay, after some time it became 25 grams. So, the time required from 50 gram to 25 gram is called as half life of the reaction. So for zero order reaction you can put this that T is equals to T half. So R becomes equals to R naught by 2. If you do that what you get is this expression. Please try it out. So this is actually half life for zero order reaction. So you can see that half life for zero order reaction is directly proportional to the initial concentration of reactants and it is inversely proportional to the rate constant k okay now let's look at first order reaction so if you again the same thing is there okay so for first order reaction you again put r is equals to r naught by 2 and t is equals to t half if you do that you get this expression okay so this is for first order reaction now note here that half life for first order reaction is actually a constant value so it is independent of initial concentration of reacting species okay so please make a note half life is half life period is constant quantity for first order so again highlighting the difference for zero order reaction t half is proportional to initial concentration r naught and inversely proportional to rate constant okay and for uh, first order reaction t half is independent of r naught and it is inversely proportional to k value so these are all the calculation you can expect numericals based on this okay now this is the last part in today's this session so pseudo first order reaction now here this is a particular case okay let's say that at time t equals to 0 this are the reacting species which gives you this and this as the product okay so initially let's say the concentration was this much mole and this is 10 mole this is 0 this is 0 let's say after some time we see the reaction is over okay so at time t the reaction is over everything all the reactant has reacted and here you see that the water is still there okay because the quantity here of water is very large okay so here this is your limiting reagent that is limiting the reaction so whenever one of the concentration is very large okay so basically you can see that 10 and 9.9 .9, there is not so much difference okay so this k prime that rate can be written as this value k some constant into this concentration into h2o now this k prime and h2o can be written as another k why we are doing that because the concentration of h2o is not changing so much so rate is equals to this value now whenever this is happening we see that the reaction depends on both okay it depends on both because you see both of them are reacting but what we see because H2O's concentration is not changing, we say that it is kind of constant. So it is independent. So such reaction behaves as first order, but they are not of first order. So such reactions are called as pseudo first order reaction. Pseudo means false. Okay. 
another reaction of uh, pseudo first order is this one that is inversion of cane sugar okay so you see this is your cane sugar water in acidic medium it gives glucose and fructose so here also rate is proportion uh, is equals to k into only concentration of sugar cane okay so please focus on this and uh, i hope you all enjoyed do practice all this okay very very important do practice required okay at least uh, three four times